Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Brian. And, and we're, we're the, the WV Gamers. Gamers. Today we're going to do something a little different. Normally when you tune in, you see us teaching you how to play a game, playing through a game so you can see what it fully looks like. But something we've wanted to do for a while is unboxing videos. We have, we have a number of uh, games that we have over here that we plan to do unboxing videos for, but we just haven't gotten the time to actually do it. But today I got something special that I am really excited to unbox. So let's go ahead and pull up this new uh, board game. This really isn't a board game. Sure it is. It plays games, check, and they're circuit boards, check. Therefore, board game. That's not a board game. <laughs> well, okay, fine. It's not technically a board game, but it's not like we just do board games on, the, on our channel. We do video games and other things as well. It's just most often we are doing uh you know yeah we are typically doing board games but i do do uh do do <laughs> i do have a number of uh articles that are for video games and we've done a few of those interviews so we've done video games yeah. i think I've, i think i defended myself enough at this point to go ahead and start <laughs> the unboxing so as many other people are aware today was the release date of the playstation 5 uh, earlier this week was the xbox series x which is a horrible name I wish they would have just gone with numbers or gone the weird Nintendo route, but there's not really any weird confusion there. <laughs> there's a motherboard in there. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, I can't pronounce your username, but thank you, world. <laughs> uh, so, yes, there is a board in there. So, uh, so anyways, uh, so I just picked this up earlier today. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I'll be honest. I'm I'm a weird. I love controllers, so I'm probably going to be the most excited to see how the new controller feels. I even. Yeah. I will say I saw a picture. Someone took a close-up picture of the controller, and it's got like all of the PlayStation like symbols in it. Like I can't wait to see how it how it looks and how it feels. Yeah, like we we just uh, I did get even though I didn't get an Xbox because they were sold out, as everybody knows. Uh, I did get a controller because again I love controllers and. That one got me it got me pretty excited. It feels really good. So it's I'm really hoping <laughs> this works out pretty well. So let's go ahead and get started. This has not been open. Like I have not even pulled the sticker off this. So nope. if, if it if it shattered in here, you'll see my expression on how sad I'll be. And hopefully. Brian actually has to watch his steps because our almost ten year old Labrador or <laughs> is uh, laying underneath of our feet. <laughs> yeah, so it's not going to be the cleanest unboxing video. <laughs> but we are gonna do something with a little bit of a twist in this unboxing video at least. I'll let you do it. <laughs> no it actually comes this way. Oh, okay. It does another Okay. And you slide it out this way. Well, we'll see. I guess we'll do that. That's what the box is. Sounds good to me. So, I will say, what's really unfortunate for Amanda is these always come out in November, it seems like. I, I do remember the uh, 3DS came out in March back in 2011, I believe it was. And that wasn't so bad. She didn't mind that as much. But the problem is, is her birthday is in two days and it always happens that November is always when consoles come out. So Brian gets a really, really nice gift and uh, Amanda doesn't. Although uh, when the Switch came out, she got a Switch. I so. did get a Switch. And she's playing that a lot now. But that wasn't around my birthday. No. Ooh. Okay. So we got all the manuals and stuff. I got to touch it first, but I'll let you unpackage it. Okay. I'll, I'll unpackage it once I get everything pulled out of here. Well, here's a power cable. Yep, so can't have a system without a power cable. Oh, uh, yeah, you can. You can get the new iPhone without the little wall charger. You're right, you're right. I can't argue that. There we go. So now we've got the... Is there a cable in that little section up there? Probably USB C cable. USB C. Okay. All right. Oh man. Okay, this thing's definitely not a not, not like the older the other PlayStations. Yeah. 
Man, and my first PlayStation was the PS1. And I mean PS1, not the PlayStation X. So, I mean, I, I, I started off with, like, the very small PlayStation. So, man, this is a beast. I knew it was going to be, but... I don't even know where this is going to fit in the entertainment stand. Alright. There it is. There is the PlayStation 5 that, quite honestly, reminds me a lot of, like, an Alienware computer. That's why I like the design of it, because it looks like an Alienware. So, what we got... We got nice. the front. I kind of wish we had one of those little rotating things. Looks like we've got uh, USB C cable. Yeah. Hey, we got a rotating thing. Yeah, we do. I forgot <laughs> that we had this thing. <laughs> so we do have uh, your USB port, your USB C port, your disk drive, because I'm still a fan of physical media, so of course. I do like that. Yeah, the PlayStation logo here. The nice little PlayStation logo. Like, it is a cool design, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's big. It looks very futuristic now, compared to, like, the other PlayStation games. Yeah, the play, like, I enjoyed my PS4, but it always overheated. It was just like a jet engine. Um, but, yeah, it was just, it was always so loud. So, so this thing better be cool. So, we've got two USB 3 ports here. So, for any uh, extra accessories that I'll release in the future or doing... Uh, that I actually just got my little camera adapter from Sony to be able to use my camera for my other PlayStation for the VR headset. So it's about a foot and a half, I would say, maybe. But yeah, looking at it from that angle, it looks huge. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, this angle does make it look pretty big. It's, uh, I mean, there's no other way to say it. It is a very large system. So you have your USB uh, three o or three ports. Get your LAN, HDMI, and power, and then you got your little your little lock up here for if you want to lock it down to a, a table or anything like that. But that is uh, that's pretty much it. You got your buttons up here. Like uh, it almost looks like with the texture of it that it's like like metal, but it's actually a hard plastic because yeah. it really looks like it's got like the like the glitter shine to like a metal surface. Yeah, they've definitely the thing I'm definitely noticing, and it's. Yeah, you can get in that light. There is a lot of vintage here. So this should certainly keep cooler than the PlayStation 4 did. I, I know even just playing something like Dynasty Warriors or something like that, it got so loud. It was ridiculous how loud it was. So, yeah, I mean, I like the look. I like the, uh, the white. Even though it's a plastic, it almost has like a metallic paint look. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it kind of looks like it's like a metal, but it's actually a, a harder plastic. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. So I'm going to place it down. I know there is a stand in there to lay it down a certain way. I'm just going to lay it down this way for right now. Just to kind of... So there, there's you a <laughs> different angle. And there is, again, this can be in both, both directions. So, um, yeah. But there is a little plate that you actually lock onto the bottom and it can be used to hold it in this angle as well. Again, I haven't really done anything with this. I can see where it works, but I think it somehow sits under it like this. So that's something I will be figuring out once I get this thing set up. Nice. So that is the console itself. It's pretty nice. It comes So the accessories comes with your HDMI. What's funny is it has considerably less ports than I would envision because the PlayStation 4 had a couple of extra ports, including a port for the um, for the camera. So the fact that there's just literally two USBs, HDMI, the LAN, and the power on the back, uh, and then t the USB and the USB-C on the front, it's a little lacking. It does seem a little lacking. I think that's where like you hook mm -hmm. this thing into that dock. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. I mean, obviously a lot of what your USB ports are going to be used for at the beginning of the life of the console is for hooking up external hard drives to, um, hook up, like to store your older games. So your PlayStation 4 games and stuff will play on here, but you can read those off of external media rather than clogging up your internal storage as well. 
support the hub? Uh, I will find out. I would imagine. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't support a hub. But, so yeah. That is the console itself. I like it. Uh, the other thing I noticed that's kind of important is I'm not going to have to hide some power brick because the power supply is built inside. You just literally have the cable hook up. You don't have the huge brick like a laptop brick or anything yeah. that's going to go in. So they've gone back to more like the... I'm trying to think which systems had that. Like the PlayStation 2 had an external brick. I guess all the PlayStation line... No, PlayStation 3 did not have an external uh, a brick. It had... At least the, the version I had just had a, a cord. So the 4 kind of went back to an external block and whatnot. So, yeah. Can we look at the controller now? Yes, we'll look at the controller. <laughs> You've been very patient. So the good thing about Sony is they, they go with the formula. If it's not broken, don't try to fix it. So it's still the same form factor. It still has the same button layout for the most part. They've just changed some of the ergonomics, uh, the PlayStation button. Ooh, that's... Nice and glowy. You can't really see it on the camera unless I get it at the right I think angle. It just went away. Yeah, it did. So it has your your glow. Uh, gone is the light bar on the back. That while it was neat in the beginning, nobody used it. It just was a battery drain. So kind of happy the bar is gone. I'm kind of curious. I imagine the light bar that goes around. Um, imagine the light bar will go around. You can still get color off of, so you'll be able to see it. So it has that middle center button that wasn't used before i'm not sure if this is touch sensitive it does not look like it would be it looks like it's just a big center button so we'll see about that i assume that's your share button and yeah everything about it looks pretty nice it's much sharper corners on the bottom so hmm. i know everyone's going to be looking at un other unboxing videos so this is not something that you're not going to see from better unboxers but I want to show it off but then we're going to do something a little fun with it after after we're done showing off the shiny stuff but yeah so that's basically what it's going to look like everything's nice nice on it the the triggers look like they're going to be a lot nicer on them like i didn't mind the ps4 controller and i thought i was going to like it a lot more in the beginning but once i played with the xbox one controller i kind of like the xbox one's triggers a lot better so We'll see if uh, the way they've got the little lip here, if it'll be any better or not. But you got your headphone port down here, and I assume that's your charging, uh, your contactless charging, where you just like set it on. Your USB-C on the ends, but yeah, so it's nice and hefty. I think it feels pretty good. So let's see, let's see if we can tell on the bottom, like. I'm pretty sure it's there, but I would honestly have to use a magnifying glass or something because it is super, super fine. The pictures that we saw, someone must have put that under uh, like a microscope or something because it's really, really fine. You can you can feel it. It's got a little bit of a texture. Oh, yeah. It's totally there. Yeah. That's really cool. It is neat. But, yeah, then just your standard cables and whatnot. So, yeah, pretty neat. Wow. Yeah, it feels pretty good, right? It has a nice feel to it. I like the texture of it because yes. it doesn't, like, it's not s too smooth. Like, it has, like, a gripping mechanism. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm curious to see how that plays. I I wish the console was going to be backwards compatible with the old controllers for games that weren't going to use all the features. But, <laughs> well, unfortunately, it looks like Microsoft is our champion in terms of backwards compatibility this this generation where Sony was last time and Sony took advantage of it so I'm curious to see how much uh, Microsoft's going to take advantage of, of that so I think we've looked at enough of the hardware and everything so again because we are we do do a lot of board game stuff obviously I had this idea yesterday what board games is as equally the size of this because you know a lot of board games are pretty small and there's some that are larger so what games do we have that you could that is bigger or the same size as this so let's grab some board games and kind of compare them i would say mystic veil the conclave box but i don't feel like pulling that entire box out because that's a pretty big box let's see ticket to ride uh, nope uh, ticket to ride is still shorter so that's not a good comparison and uh, i think too many bones would probably be about the same size and probably the same but it's weight. narrower Let's, uh, Catan. 
Luke is asking for Catan, so give me a second to find Catan. It's in behind uh, Cthulhu oh, Jack. Okay. Okay. Entertain them. It's going to take me a minute. <laughs> so in a little bit, if you jump onto my Twitch, you can see me getting pied twice from with cream pies in an ice bucket challenge um, for uh, hitting some milestones for my extra life donations. <laughs> oh yeah, Luke, this is, this is not going to work out. This is definitely not going to be the right Yeah, it's a lot but, better. But to show you what the size is compared, because, again, we had a weird angle, right? So, okay. You can't see it from there. Though. Yeah, exactly. I'm showing that the PlayStation is still taller. Uh, about the same width as the, as the other. And at this angle, it's also smaller. So, Catan is not a good size comparison. Uh, ooh, Fireball Island. That might be the right length. That might be the right size. I mean, it's, it's taller. Let's see if I can do this without making everything fall. I see stuff fall. Okay, so Fireball Island. Now, I will say, even if the physical dimensions are good for this, which looks pretty good. It looks good. It's uh, a Does little bit longer, longer, so that's pretty good. Um, definitely not weight wise Fireball oh yeah. <laughs> Island is a lot lighter <laughs> yeah I can hold this like with a couple fingers but uh, this no so okay so I think our, our size comparison when people want to know how big the uh, Playstation 5 is if they have a copy of Fireball Island on hand <laughs> that will allow them to know roughly how big the console is going to be and they can try putting this in different places in their entertainment mm -hmm. center to figure out where is it going to fit so, Fireball Island, good size comparison for the PlayStation 5. <laughs> now, in terms of weight, now, I wish I had a scale to do this. I mean, that's a couple couple tickets of rides, at least. Yeah, I'm still going to go with the uh, Chip Theory, uh, Too Many Bones. <laughs> yeah, if, if it was not covered, I would pull down Too Many Bones, and with all of its poker chips, it probably does have enough weight to almost constitute this. Now, if we have the treasure trove, the weight would definitely be there. The treasure trove would definitely be heavier than the PlayStation oh, 5. Yeah. Maybe Champions of Horror is directly behind you. Champions of Horror. That one's a, a hefty one. It is a pretty there? hefty one. Okay. It's, it's pretty hefty. It's not quite no. there. Not quite there, but it's not, not too far off. Uh -uh. So we're going to put this in backwards and Amanda's going to kill me. It's okay. I just noticed that the box is not put back correctly anyways. Yep, yep. That's fine. Uh, let's see. What else? What Suburbia are... maybe, but we have too many of the one nights above it. I'm willing to bet that Suburbia, the uh, collector's edition, probably about the same weight as the PlayStation 5. I, I, I think that's probably good. Probably. So let's see. Is there any other crazy ones that we could... Mystic Veil, if we were was willing to pull that down, that would probably do it, but yeah. we have too many games on We it. have too many AEGs on top of We have of a it. lot of AEG games. I, th I think we're, we're getting Ooh. close to having most of their cat catalog. So, anyways, I think I think that's enough. Uh-oh, was there a scratch? No, I think it's just dirt. Okay. So, I think that gives you an idea of uh, what to expect for anyone who either already picked up the PlayStation 5 and you're not watching this video because you're playing your PlayStation 5. You didn't have the, the resistance that I did to hold, or the willpower to hold off hooking this up to play it. But, um, yeah, it, definitely if you don't have a, co a, a system yet, it's big. You're going to need to measure to find where you're going to fit it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll I'll have some... So, a, a review up at some point in time kind of giving my thoughts on how well sony did with this system um the only game i currently purchased with it is the spider-man game because yeah if that, mm -hmm. th that game looks like the best one to me like i thought demon souls but i think i would get too frustrated dying too much i don't really enjoy those ones but um yeah so hopefully uh this will be this will be fun and uh hopefully it doesn't overheat and hopefully it doesn't have weird issues like people are posting to Twitter about the Xbox, which I am sure most of which. Do you think that's the same material too or something? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, p apparently the same texture that's on the controller is also on at the inside. At least on the inside here. 
I can't. Maybe that's why it looks too, metallic. It's too small here for me to tell. But inside here has the same texture as the back of the controller, where it has the 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 triangle square uh, X and O. That's really cool. So, Luke, I saw your question. Um, I actually did not buy the original PlayStation 4 copy of Spider-Man. And now my phone's going off. That's cool. <laughs> Uh, I did not actually buy the original version, so when I bought my Miles Morales game, I bought the launch edition that has both games, so I will have both games. I will probably start off with the Spider-Man 4 remaster and work my way to the proper PlayStation 5 version of the game. Um, so, uh, thank you for asking. But, um, yeah, other than that, if anybody else picked up a copy uh, or a system and... Want to share their thoughts? Uh, feel free to drop a line, and wherever you're watching this, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Periscope, uh, wherever else I've got this set up to go to, <laughs> you're you, if you're watching, you're in one of those random pl uh, platforms, platforms. So feel free to drop us. <laughs> so uh, hopefully you had fun with this. We will be doing some actual unboxings of of board games coming up. We actually have a shelf over here with a line of some of those games. So. It's just a matter of once we get past this weekend, doing that. Talking about this weekend, we'll go ahead and talk about that. So, now that we've done the unboxing, uh, Extra Life is something you've heard us talk about many times. And if you haven't, hey, we're going to tell you about Extra Life. So, Extra Life is a gaming charity uh, where we raise money for uh, children's hospitals. Uh, we're personally raising money for WVU's Children's Hospital. And so this weekend, we are going to be doing our 24-hour event. We're technically doing two 12-hour events just because... Uh, it's 2020. It, it's, <laughs> it's, it's 2020. We want people to be able to go home and shower and... Relax. Feel, and... Yeah. So we're, instead of doing our full 24, 25-hour marathon like we do every year, uh, we're going to do two 12-hour uh, ones this weekend. And... Part of that, uh, we're actually going to be doing a number of raffles for a lot of board games. Uh, a nice bundle that uh, Pezo sent us from of Starfinder. Um, so we have a lot. I think we have four, 14 A total bundles? of 14 bundles. Um, we have um, two different lots um, that contains a ticket each to an escape room in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Mm -hmm. And each ticket allows up to six people to go through the escape room on the one ticket. Mm -hmm. So we'll have two different lots for that. Um, it's a brand new escape room. Our buddy Jason um, down at J&M Books and Play um, just opened it just before Halloween, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we have a friend, Jocelyn, that's a part of West Virginia Nerd Herd, who uh, made some awesome ceramic uh, coasters really nice. um, a glass jar with a d20 with mountains it looks really pretty yeah and then a eight by eight metal sign that says like eat play repeat type thing um it's really cute too yeah. <laughs> and, and that's all on one lot yeah and, and we'll have other board games and lots as well so you just need to go to the wp gamers facebook page where we'll have pictures of all of those lots and instructions on how to enter into those Normally, we would be at the shop and selling you tickets, but how we're going to have to do it this year is you, you can go to one of our members' uh, pages, and if they have it set up, you can go off and uh, donate to them in one of the different is it, it's incentives. Something, incentives. Mm -hmm. And what that'll do is it'll enter you into a drawing for that lot of stuff. And you can enter in as many times as you want. It's just that's the way we're going to be able to uh, keep track of who's wanting what. Um, the only people I know you and I each have it on our pages. Um, and so some of our other team may have it on their pages. Um, just if, if you know any of the other people on our team, feel free to look at their page and see if they have that set up as one of their donation setups or incentives or not. If not, feel free to come to either of our pages and, um, feel free to donate with those and the cool thing is it's not just for this weekend we're actually keeping these incentives open until december 14th so that you have plenty of time to uh make your donations to enter into those raffles um and then plenty of time to if you wanted to give them away as christmas gifts mm -hmm. we'll be if you're within a two to three hour radius of flemington we will travel to you to give it to you or we will ship it to you but only in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, 
if there is anybody watching in the, the other other countries and whatnot we can't unf we, we don't have we can't ship to you all i i apologize we're all this is coming out of our pocket anyway so we don't want to uh raise maybe like 20 or 30 dollars for a lot and then have to spend that much or more to ship it out so i'm sorry maybe in the future we'll come up with some kind of lots that we can do overseas but right now we are keeping this exclusive for us so thank you for your support if you are in other countries and want to help us and help the children in the wvu children's hospital but unfortunately we can't do the shipping of the lots um but uh yeah so check out that and we will be doing during the two 12 hour days we will be doing streams uh we'll be doing streams in this room with uh board games being played and uh, we actually have a schedule for those so you'll kind of have an idea of when those games will happen anybody who plays board games know that games could run over and whatnot and we have fillers for when they run short um and then we will have video games going on it's not really a set schedule it's just kind of a a, a place the kill off a little time uh for when you're not in the middle of a board game or something also amanda's going to be doing some really disgusting challenges all weekend where she's going to eat crickets larvettes uh fiery jelly beans bean boozle jelly beans that taste like stink bugs and other disgusting things and uh you have those weird sodas that taste like weird stuff Sweet corn peanut butter jelly buffalo sauce ranch yeah and apparently from what we've heard they're worse than what they sound it's not like you're just drinking like juice from corn or something it's it's a soda so yeah. it has everything else that's mixed in with it yeah. so um mistakes were made but you know what it's all for the kids so i will gladly take the hit to help support the kids yeah. <laughs> um so amanda is actually the guild president for west virginia's extra life so could you give us a quick update on how the state as a whole's doing? Um, surprisingly very well compared to uh, 2020 in general. <laughs> um, you, usually with 2020, we attend a number of different conventions around the state to help raise funds and, and to do signups and whatnot. Last year, I believe we had about 380 some signups for Extra Life. It's completely free. Go to extra-life.org. Um, and this year we only have about 186, so we're about halfway between what we had last year. But um, last year we raised about $39,000 as a whole in the state of West Virginia. And right now, 11 months into the year, we are at $35,000, which is astronomical because we couldn't go to conventions because everything was canceled this year. So that's really amazing. Yeah. <laughs> there's just been, there's been a lot of people, I guess a lot of people have heard about Extra Life through other communities or through us or through any anybody who talks about it. And I guess everyone's kind of like, well, I can't go anywhere anyways, let's, uh, I'm playing these games. Why don't we do something fun that's also uh, helpful? So we've so we've noticed a lot of people's names uh, that signed up this year that we've never seen. And I'm I've been doing this for nine years, nine years now. And so it is interesting to see all the new the new faces, uh, well, new names, new names on the list who have been helping raise stuff. And some of them have been doing like, you know, a lot of people who sign up for the first time get a couple hundred dollars if they're active. Uh, yeah. Some of these people have been getting over a thousand dollars easily. Yeah. So, like, I know for like my first couple of years, like I didn't raise anything, or it was five dollar donation from Brian from me signing up. He was like, "Here's a donation for you." Yeah. <laughs> like, I've been really impressed with how this year has gone extra yeah. life wise. Like, compared to how twenty twenty is in general, I figured donations would be really, really low. But we've we've done very well for our state, and I yeah. think thank goodness that that we've been been able and fortunate enough to help the children at wv medicine children's and then i just saw a question pop up um chris your ps5 is at your local gamestop hopefully <laughs> uh, not at ours that's for sure because they had no extras <laughs> the, that's that's lies there's no playstation 5s anywhere so uh uh I, Get a hold of uh, Sony. Maybe they'll send you one. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's sold out pretty much everywhere. Uh, I'm sure there's a few places that there's... And, uh, 
there is one or two somewhere but uh yeah they're ebay they're on ebay <laughs> but uh so yeah so anyways check us out check out uh our channels this weekend because we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff uh look forward to more feedback about what i think of the playstation 5 in the coming weeks um uh, we'll i'll do some articles uh, on them and maybe do some screen captures although it's gonna be a little awkward because the elgato doesn't do 4k so we'll see we'll see what the, what's built into the playstation 5 for streaming wise and see what that's gonna be like so you should be able to just stream directly to twitch from here we'll see i mean this hasn't been hooked up so i, I have yeah. no idea i don't even know what the interface looks like so yeah. but anyways that is our unboxing of the playstation 5 so uh, we hope you enjoyed our comparison on comparing it to what size <laughs> what board games uh, it's similar in size to and uh, uh look forward to more unboxings from us they'll actually be board games i promise it won't be any of this weirdness that i'm saying oh it's a board game because it's got a, a circuit board and stuff in it but uh so anyways, we, we, we just wanted to do something kind of fun today. So anyways, that's all we have. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>